New York Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from nynews.com. Like always, I look at Mustas. Yankees fans, this is what happens when you get great pitching. This is what happens when you hone the opposing team to a couple of runs. In this case, one run on three hits. Exactly what I said on my previous video. You need good pitching because your offense isn't going to bail you out all the time. In this case, the offense showed up and the pitching showed up. So wow, what a recipe. It's common sense. Now the Yankees are going to game five. Now we have Garrett Cole taking the mound and Garrett Cole is going to show everybody why he's worth millions of dollars because Garrett Cole came to the Yankees for that purpose only to bring the Yankees to the promised land to bring home number 28. So we shouldn't expect anything less. We should expect Cole to go out there and dominate. And by the way, Gary Sanchez is as good as gone. If the Yankees advance, you'll see him for a couple of games, but I think the Yankees are going to trade him during the offseason because we're seeing that Higgy just calls a way better game than him. Higgy has a decent bat. And um, I'm not saying that he, Gashioka, is going to be the full-time catcher uh, next season. I think the Yankees are going to go out and sign a free agent. But um, Sanchez is as good as gone. He had his opportunity. And basically, he lost his job to Higashioka. And rightfully so. Sanchez hasn't been Sanchez since 2016, 2017. Simple as that. So we're not out of the woodworks yet. But the thing that makes Yankees fans so special is that Yankees fans always keep the Yankees in check. They're doing bad. You're going to hear from Yankees fans. You're going to hear from the media. And again, you're going to hear it from Yankees fans. So we have a guest on the line. His name is Top Sports Mind, owner of TheKingSource.com. Let's take a listen to what he has to say, his opinions, what he thinks about Game 5 and beyond. Hello. Hello. My name is Boris, but you can call me Tony. I got your number from last year's voting registration. Hello. Are you there? That's literally impossible. No, that was an interview. This is the interview. Hello? We now have top sports mind Adam King from thekingsource.com on NYY News Surprise Podcast. How you doing, Adam? I'm doing okay. We wanted to get your expertise. What do you think about the Yankees going to Game Five? Have at it, Adam. Uh, the first thing that jumps out to me is Cole versus Glasnow. Glasnow on two days rest is a bomb waiting to happen on the race. The Yankees should shell him. And why do you historically, think that? Historically, thirteen pitchers have gone on two days rest. They are zero and thirteen with an ERA over a thousand. Astronomically, all right. They don't do well. So, what do you think um, happened to the Yankees today? Because we saw that, you know, all season long their pitching has been up and down. Do you think um, the pitching coach Matt Blake and you know the Yankees uh, staff got a wake up call today to say, "Hey, do good here. You know, things could be forgotten. You win here, and no hard feelings." I personally think they had a team meeting today and just never told the media or anybody. They just had a private team meeting, talked. Maybe just the players had a meeting. Just talked it out together and everything. So what do you think uh, is yeah, going to be the were, score tomorrow? Um, I really think Yankees a win. I think both Cole and – not Cole. Both Glasnow and Snell on short rest is bad news for the Rays. I think Cole will be fine. I think the Yankees are going to win somewhere around 8-2. to two. Exactly, and that means good news for your uh, website, thekingshorse.com. Yep. Get those uh, advertisements going. Yeah, I'm working on it. I wish we could Google AdSense going on there, but they've been pain in the butt to work with. I mean, when the uh, baseball season was almost shut down, what did you say that you were going to lose out on? I had several companies offering me seven-digit advertising deals. And those happen when you're getting a lot of reads 
and from the target audience they want. Those are the factors. When wow. sports shut down, they just pulled out and backed off. And I haven't gotten very many offers since. I got two offers that they weren't worth touching, basically. You just got uh, to tomorrow, who knows? But, um, you know, Adam King, anything else you want to add here? Uh, just look out for a major game from Cole tomorrow. Big game Cole's going to show up. He's determined. He wants to prove this is why the, he signed the Yankees. This is why the Yankees got him for this game tomorrow. And another thing, the Yankees win tomorrow, Astros are toast. The Yankees will go right through them. Yeah, I, I'm kind of a, you know, I don't know about that series versus the Astros. Who knows if the Astros are going to give the Yankees a hard time, but who knows? Yeah, who knows? The A's and Twins, who they beat, are known for having terrible pitching staff. They only, the only good pitcher the A's had on the bullpen was Liam Hendricks. The Twins had none. So there is going to be a different change where the Yankees have a good bullpen. And that'll help the Yankees out a whole lot. So, you guys heard it here first, Adam King, if you guys bet or whatever, placing bets, Adam King, the guy that has the highest IQ I know, a higher IQ than Albert Einstein, he predicts the Yankees are going to win tomorrow. So, there you have it, Adam King. Thank you much. Take it easy. Before it hits the front page, NY1 News, for the 